This video is sponsored by Travel with CJ and Preferred Travel Partners. Bienvenue everyone and welcome to Taste Try Travel. We are on the gorgeous MSC Seashore. And today we are visiting the newest port in the Caribbean, Taino Bay in the Dominican Republic. Today is day four and we are in the Dominican Republic. This is a brand new port, Taino Bay, which is a couple miles away from Amber Cove where the Carnival ships dock. They put over $80 million into renovating this whole area from what used to be an industrial port. So we're super excited to show you all that we can. So we are in Taino Bay. We've got a little challenge. We've got some friends, some very dear friends. We are going to be looking for something local and something that just, it just brings them here. We're also going to be looking for something that's like the cheesiest thing you've ever seen. Something that was definitely made in some Chinese factory somewhere else and then shipped here and it looks like it's supposed to be from the Dominican Republic. <laughs> and Dominican cuisine is supposed to be really good. We're having lunch there. Let's go. Oh, there's birds right there. Oh, he's so pretty. Will he talk? Will you talk to us? What's your name? He's not talking. A little shy today. I don't have anything for you. I'm so sorry. I needed him some seeds for him. I'm sorry. Maybe next time, okay? <laughs> this is one of the nicest ports I've seen so far. Yeah, this is this is incredibly beautiful. Yeah. So far, we've been we we're in 40 feet in. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and it's gorgeous outside. Nice breeze. We're gonna have some Dominican food. Yay, this is what this traveling is. gonna be a nice day, isn't it? What traveling's all exactly. about. Exactly. Love it. We've made it to lunch. San Mangu. I don't know what that means, because you can order it. Banana San Mangu. I'm not familiar enough with Dominican food. I know what mofongo is. Right. Which is what I'm getting. Right. But they also have San Mangu and San Cocho. And I don't know what those are. Nope. And we don't have internet to look up. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can smell the jalapenos. <laughs> so it's an appetizer. It said chips and sauce. And I think we just kind of thought it was chips and salsa. But there's like delicious cheese sauce all over it. There's bacon. Jalapenos, I see onions, I see some salsa. This is fantastic. Mm -mm. I don't know how like, I don't know how local this is. I don't think it's local at all, but it's think, delicious. delicious. I think they think this is what Americans want. Maybe. Let's try a little, try a little of this cheese. That's canned nacho cheese. I love it. Exactly. <laughs> All right, we have got a Dominican staple, not cheese sauce, <laughs> mofongo. This has bacon, pork, roasted pork, um, that beautiful garlicky, herby mofongo sauce that's always in mofongo. It's just full of flavor. It's like, so is delicious. Is it like a mojo sauce, kind of? Little citrus? Is there any citrus in there? I don't think there's citrus. Okay. There might be. I don't know. I there don't might know. be because try. they did give us a lime. Yeah. So there might be some citrus already in the sauce. I don't know. Yeah. Also, they gave us chicharrones. Wow. Those look a, those look like big. Listen. 
one of our favorite YouTube channels is the Traveling Gilberts. I'm gonna put their link right up there. <laughs> they are great. They're so much fun and they love food. And they're just in a series on Boudin and Cracklins. We have the Dominican Cracklins. I know. They did not get these. <laughs> anyway, go check out their series. It's a lot of fun to see them try all different Cracklins and Boudin from all over Louisiana. Yeah, definitely. Meat, fat, skin. Wow. That's delicious. Is it? Am I gonna like it? That's porchetta. Oh my goodness, I did have slices of that. Put it on a little beautiful bread. Have a porchetta sandwich. Oh my goodness, that's delicious. Ooh. Mm. All right, let's try some of this. That is really nice. I like the, the crunchy pork in there. Kind of gives it some texture. It's not just like the soft plantain. There's so much garlic. I'm glad we, we, got, we got one to share because this is a lot of food. I'm excited to try it. it tastes like amazing roast pork. I think I like the meat by itself. But I think the skin is a little hard to eat. Mm. What is that? What did you order? We're in the Dominican Republic. We haven't been here. Have we ever been here? We've never, never been, been here. Never been in the Dominican Republic. This is the national drink. It's called Mama Juana. This is one shot. So it wasn't like wine and rum and spices. You gotta try it. Warmth is flowing down. Woo. It tastes like a flavored rum. There's almost like a. Uh, there's almost like a orangey. Orangey. I smell a little anise. Well, I'm glad I tried it. There's no way I'm drinking this whole thing. This is a lot. But. Uh, the server said that they like to drink it, but not a lot of Americans like it. <laughs> so I said, well, of course we have to try it. <laughs> so, Chris, I want you to sit, see right. what you think. Here we go. Mama Wana. Mama Wana? It smells... Do you smell the anise? It smells medicinal. Oh, it's thick. Yep. It's like... Medicine. Yep. It's like cough syrup consistency. Yep. <laughs> I think if you added maybe some some like cream or something to it, mm -hmm. or I would be happy with ice. Well, that's what I mean, like ice and cream. I think that might be really really good. No, I'm not gonna pour it in there. So Beth pointed at my glass of ice and said, "Pour it in there." I'm not gonna, because I'm not gonna drink more of this. I can't, I can't after eating no. drinks yesterday. No, we wanted to try it though. But we, yes, we wanted to try it because it is the, well, I don't know if it's the national drink of Dominican Republic, but it it's, is. oh, okay. It is the national drink of the Dominican Republic. So we wanted to try it. And it's really pretty decent. I mean, I would say that that's pretty decent. It's not terrible. The, the thickness is a little weird, but. Are you feeling well, all warm? Thank you, Dominica. <laughs> All right, lunch is done. It was delicious. Now on to challenge. I'm going to go up one side of the street. Chris is going to go on the other. We don't know what each other is shopping for. When we get back together, we'll decide who has picked the best thing. Here we go.
Uh, tell me the, the name of the fruit. Iguero. It's a dry fruit, Dominican okay. fruit. What are you doing here? I'm cheating. I'm seeing what you're getting. I already got something. I can't see it. Though. In my bag. Last thing? No, I didn't. No, I only got one thing. I've gotten four things so far. <laughs> oh my goodness! But I've just found like these cute little local shops, and their people are fantastic, and I can't say no. Yes, exactly. We decided to meet at the Mojito Bar to compare our souvenir finds and decide which one of us is triumphant in this shopping challenge. Cobblestones are a little uneven. Almost tripped myself. Of course, I'm wearing flip flops today, but when you're walking around, just be super careful. Unfortunately, the weather at that particular time had other plans. A huge windstorm slowly erupted as Beth was trying to show her finds. It ended up playing havoc with one of our microphones. First, let me start by saying I totally blew the challenge. I bought too many things. Oh my! This is for our, this for sure is for our friend Larry because he plays all kinds of instruments and thought this would be a nice little. This is for us. Oh, it's a shell stand. It's our puppy was made out of shells. This is a cheesy item that I found that might go in our studio. up and they make masks, like full-size masks like this, and they put this mask on and they just run around the streets chasing people. That's all it is. They just chase people with these masks. I think this is going to go to our friends. This is one of a kind. I'm telling you, I found this tucked behind a bunch of other like cutesy little things and I'm like, what is that? Isn't that so cute? And this represents the ladies that walk around the street selling flowers. And if wrecking the microphone wasn't enough, another massive gust hit and decided to turn over our table. Although we did get a new mojito. All right, look, clean up after the little mini tornado that hit us. <laughs> I didn't get nearly as much backstory as you did. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> I have a place in my heart for paintings. Oh my goodness, I love it. It was a carving that was found in a cave here in the Dominican Republic. All right, so this one, so it's just a little clay figure, they a little, little pinch type. So anyway, How that's- How cute. Listen people, there are some great shops. There's some like jewelry, like high-end stuff. And then there's, uh, we found quite a number of these little local places. That's what we love. We love supporting these places. Yep. And then I supported it more than you did. <laughs> here's one that. Oh, you that, got another one. Yeah, I got three. Yeah. I thought I was cheating with three. <laughs> you know what happened to the rules? <laughs> they went out the window. Oh my goodness. That's a little sandpiper. I love it. A little Dominican sandpiper. Is that coming home with us? I think so. So we have a chicken from Rune. We have a duck from Ireland. We have a sandpiper from the Dominican Republic. That's adorable. How fun. That was my haul. Yay. But you won with the guitar. I think the guitar won too. All right, well, I think we're going to go ahead and check out the pool, show you guys what that looks like. Go from there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it.
cost anything here at the pool at the port, they just ask that you buy some drinks. If you're gonna buy drinks anyway, why not enjoy it? Nice. I'm not as good as her. What's his name? Lolo. Lolo? Mm hmm And that's a girl. Hi. Hi, pretty. Hi. Oh my goodness. Oh, that thing's hairy, isn't it? How old is he? Or she? Yeah. How old? How many years? Uh, ten more or Ten years? Oh, you're so pretty. All right, so no touchy, no handling them. We'll leave the, the handlers to take care of them, but they're beautiful. There's Simon over there getting a little massage. All right, so as we're getting ready to exit, this is where they have some of the tours that you can purchase right here once you get off the ship if you don't end up doing it on the ship. All right, so that was the new Taino Bay port. We had so much fun. We could just shop. There's plenty to do. And honestly, it's a great cheap option if you don't want to do a short excursion. The people are fantastic. We had so much fun talking to them. They're so happy that cruisers are back. So far, over $80 million on this whole port area and they're building even more. It's not far to walk. There's little carts that will drive you kind of to this entrance so you don't have to walk all the way from the ship, save you a little energy. Easy walking, easy day, fun day. So we got lots of great souvenirs. It looks like our ride is here, but that is our video for the day. We hope you enjoyed visiting Taino Bay here with MSC Seashore. Please subscribe and like this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.